Anyway, let's focus on Japan. I don't... How many days? In three days, the invasion of Japan will start. Actually, it's already on the way. Why don't you move? Um, off China Sea. I guess I'm gonna reach Auckland before actually these guys manage to do something. This is one of the reasons I think this is ridiculous. So let's move these guys to another port. Or else, if I try to do an invasion from there, the game is gonna force me to have naval supremacy over here, over here, everywhere until I reach Japan. So that's a shit ton of clicking that I have to do. Despite, as you can see, no one, absolutely no one, is challenging me at sea, but I have to do this ridiculous amount of clicking for reasons, due to reasons. Not sure exactly which reasons. So 13 days from now we'll have a CB against most of South America. And I think we can do this before the end of 1948. If this invasion goes well, we are gonna annex... I don't know, we'll see. The marines are going. Let's go with the... I don't know. Maintenance company. This invasion is going well. It appears to be going well. But just look at these modifiers. Just look at these modifiers. 1200 defensiveness. We are going to need bombers over there. Air superiority over there too. Send these guys to another airbase. Bring some bombers. If they have the range, which I doubt it. Oh, 
What? What the hell is going on here? Oh, this is not my airbase. Again, this guy's derped. Why the hell do they wanna come here? Ugh. Okay, it looks like we managed to win this. Somehow. Okay, uh, Venezuela just capitulated. I'm tempted to go beat up Brazil right away. But if I go beat up Brazil, I want an next Japan. And probably that's for the better, because then I won't risk it. And the game will go beyond 1948. Sounds like a good idea. South American. Alright. 54 divisions attached to that. Good. The infrastructure here should be good. At least I'm, bu I'm building it. To level 10. What I was, yeah, these guys they, they took the province. Then Venezuela took the province, so it cancelled my construction. And this is gonna suck, I'm gonna have to go fight India again. Let's watch these invasions. They called states. That's fine. Buton seems to be, to be the last, the last dudes in the allies. Let's bring some heavy fighters over here.
So how are we doing? I'm checking for ports. We don't seem to have a port over here in Madagascar. To launch an invasion of Apartheid South Africa. Oh, that's a port over there. So let's create a, a plan. Seems to be going well. Okay, I need to have a look to see if I'm missing something. There are some dudes somewhere around here. Legionary Romania. American Empire. That's in Pearl Harbor uh, on a wall. Okay, we'll think about that later. No one in Tokyo. That's just peachy. Go do your thing. Just like that. Actually sit tight. Let's drop some nukes over Japan. If at all possible. Yep, they don't have 500 airplanes. Now I just need a strategic bomber in range. I think I have it. This is going to be a gigantic fireworks. Let's watch. What's their national unity, by the way? 90%. Forty-nine percent. So some custom events. This was not enough. Let's drop more. So 
the historical places where Japan was bombed was Nagasaki and Hiroshima. That's probably why we have this event. Today, a nuclear strike was directed at the heart of the Japanese Empire, the capital of capital of Tokyo. Although expected to be the target of firebombing, was never assumed to be prioritized a prioritized target of this new weapon. Yet, ultimately, perhaps due to the significance of the new capital and the imperial palace, which has now been destroyed, an even more all-consuming fire has fallen on the city. Although Hirohito is reported to have survived, the event has raised questions about how far Japan's enemies are willing to go. If the war does not end with this, what targets remain? What is left to threaten with? Okay, they should they should surrender now. Forty percent after at least after they lose Tokyo, they should surrender. Okay, let's check it. Is a, they didn't surrender yet. I might be screwing myself, shooting myself in the foot because now I'm I have a timer. If Japan surrenders right now, we'll have a peace conference. And I will have until the end of 1947 to conquer everyone. Or fail. I think. Well, China... China is probably... Let's see, let's see. So Argentina is now a major country. Wonderful. Brazil is a major country. And we have reorganized nationalist China, a major country. Actually, these dudes are all major countries for some reason. So Japan won't surrender straight away. So, reorganized nationalist China, these dudes over here are considered a major country. Fine, I guess. Since Japan does not want to surrender, let's bomb it some more. Wait. Yeah, it don't go any lower than that, so I've just wasted some new good nukes.
Okay, should we go after Columbia right away? I guess we should. Four nukes only. South America. Okay, let's forget about this focus of everything here. We're gonna see some more fireworks. Let's see. Kidding me? You are still here. Okay, no point. Go to the nearest. Nearest port. Five percent national unity. believe this. 60 divisions derping? Did I activate the plan? Nope. User mistake again. Okay, let's keep some more Grab some more bees. Happy times for the subs in the Mediterranean Sea.
is probably why my national unit is going down, but I'm not sure. Yay, these guys are almost at their objectives. Wonderful. Can't believe what I'm seeing. Trying to delete that arrow. But I can't. Japan, surrender. We have another nuke, nuke. It really blows my mind all this. Better shut up. Let's grab some dudes or this might take forever and one day. So let's move them towards that VP over there. That VP over there, hopefully. They I won't override my orders. <laughs> 